Halpern. I'm so horny. Do you wear boxers, briefs, or pantaloons? Oh, well, you're very saucy. <laughs> there was a time when the only people who texted you were people you wanted to text you, girls. And they'd all say the same thing. I'm coming over, baby. And I would text back, B-T-B, -B, bring that booty. Hey, boom guy. Oh, hey, Meredith. When are you gonna boom me? Uh, listen, they're cracking down on us talking to the subjects. It's, it's a lame rule, but you know, I wanna, I, I'll, I'll see you later. Got it. And, um, but we're kind of keeping it quiet for now because it's still kind of a new thing. It's a little delicate and we just don't want all the drama. Exactly. Yeah, because when everyone knows it, <laughs> what if Pam was a lesbian? What if she brought her partner in to work? Would that be crossing the line? No. What if they made out in front of everybody? Well, that would be... At home. And I told everybody everything about it. I could see our kids facing obstacles being half black and half Indian, but it's so worth it, you guys. There's just me here. I am gonna get him to buy me a prime rib tonight. I think he left. What? Move! Hello, Charles? Charles? Hey! Is that his scarf? No! So guys, I've been really bothered by the way certain people are getting treated around here, and I just think as an office, we're better than that. Okay, now, I'm gonna show you a picture of genitalia. Oh. oh. Andy. Was it because he's black? Nope. It's because it's genitalia. Perfectly normal genitalia, Tuna. Oh. Oh. <laughs> One thing you need to know about me, I don't quit until something tears or pops. <laughs> you look like you're getting a good workout. Can I feel your pulse? No, I'm good, thanks. Okay, Stridley, you wanna try the other side? Okay, go. That's good. Hey, Jan, what's new? Nothing since the last time you asked. Two minutes ago. Cool. You know what, Kevin? Why don't you just go ahead and stare? Because, you know, it's, it's fine with me. I mean, this is so natural and so beautiful, and... Seriously? You're okay with that? Of course. I mean, there's nothing erotic about this, you know? It's, it's, it's what these were made for, you know? I mean, they're full of baby milk. They're nourishing my baby, so. Michael! You're messing with me. About what? You did not have sex with Pam's mom. Oh, big time. What kind of car does she drive? She drives a green camera and the seats go all the way down. All the way down. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> what? I'm not offended by homosexuality. In the 60s, I made love to many, many women, often outdoors, in the mud and the rain. And it's possible a man slipped in. There would be no way of knowing. Uh-oh. She's doing it again. Phyllis has gotten into audiobooks, and lately she's been listening to Fifty Shades of Grey, which, if you don't know what it is, it's a book about a... Um, it's like, porn. Yeah. Seriously? Ugh. This is unacceptable. It's officially a hostile work environment. Why? Oh, 
Uh, Somebody just needs to get her attention, tell us not okay to do this in public. Be careful. I pulled my mom's dog off a pillow once and I got bit. Just ignore. Sooner or later she'll finish. Oh, oh God. Heard it. Uh, Good oh. Lord. PDAs, that's going to include behaviors such as hugging, kissing, uh, booby honking. Yeah, booby honking, sure. Butt honking. Butt honking, yep, all the honkings. The moment you start in a crouch position, then you leap Sure, up. basically, there's no precise definition, but you know it when you see it. Dwight told me about it earlier. Dwight? What? 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 Promise. Dwight couldn't get it up for Nellie? No, 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 it's not me. I'm gonna prove it right here and now. What are you oh, doing? Yeah. Stop that, Dwight. Dwight! Stop that, stop it. I think she is gorgeous. I think she is an incredibly, incredibly attractive person. Come here, come here, Chris. <laughs> come on. Michael, come on, come on. Oh. you don't have to worry. I'm not gonna I'm not, report I'm you not worried. to HR. Don't. You know what, the only thing I am worried about is getting a boner. Michael. Let me make this very easy for you. I could give a about your happiness. Stop dating my mother! You know what? I'm gonna start dating her even harder. What's that supposed to mean? You know what it means. You have everything? Mm -hmm. Cell phone? Charger? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you sure you don't want breakfast? It's the most important meal of the day. It really is. Mm -hmm. I'm not hungry. I ate a whole bunch of sunflower seeds after you went to sleep. And besides, I wouldn't want to take you away from Pam on the morning of her wedding. She needs you, Isabel. That's really sweet, Dwight. Oh. So I'll see you at the wedding? You know it. Okay. Mm. Okay, get um, out of here. Bye. Okay? Hey, good morning. It's about damn time. I haven't gone to the bathroom in a day and a half. Oh my God, Dwight! This room is a pit! Really? Hadn't noticed. Too busy knocking boots. Hey, kiddo. How you holding up? Not great, Ryan. Not great. You know what's great about you? A lot of girls would have just run out when they heard that news and hooked up in some cheap bar with the first random guy who bought him a drink. I'm not gonna do that. Because where's the tenderness in some hookup with some random dude you're never gonna see again? Look, Kelly is your best friend. Kelly is my girlfriend. I think I speak for both of us when I say we both want you to be happy. You guys are such good friends. The odds are always best for a three-way if one of the parties is extremely emotional or impulsive. You look so good right now. What? Oh, Erin, I am so sorry. Yeah, hey, girl. We're here for you, okay? Yeah. Oh, I... Cool, cool, cool. You need a ride? All right, let's head out. Sounds good. Do you have a coat? Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> what? Oh. Mm. I didn't forget my keys. I just didn't want to make out with you in front of the cameras. <laughs> Do you think they can hear us? Not if we turn these dials. All the way down. Now they can't hear us at all. Oh, good. We're totally alone. I've been doing some very interesting reading. Really? Mm-hmm. Tales of bravery. Mm, good stuff. Mm-hmm. I was thinking tonight we could read it together. That sounds fun. Jim and I have never and will never have sex in the office. No, because the office isn't what I'd consider a romantic place. Besides, we have something those other people don't have, which is a home and a bed. And a shower. What? No. No. We took a walk. We took a walk. Empty. Mine too.
Oh, oh boy. Okay. Okay then. So, where were we? Boeing. Mm. Yep, yep, mm -hmm. yep. You didn't eat much there, Jimbo. Well, initially I did. Want some meat? Oh, sure, a little piece. Ooh, no mushroom though. Forgot. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Put your forehead near mine and see if you can read my thoughts. Okay. Seven, one, one, nine. No, no, no not numbers, no. 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 Okay. Try again. Oh, I'm still getting numbers. Seven, one, one. Is anyone around here thinking the number seven, one, one? Please stop, okay? Dwight, give me a key card to your room. Meet me in seven minutes for some one on one time. Wait, the numbers. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you go. I will see you in seven. Seven minutes. Okay, fine. No more PDA. Good. Okay. You win. But here's what we are going to do. We are going to designate one of our closets as a hookup zone. No. Anything goes. I know. Just leave it how you said. Michael, oh, that's absurd. What if two couples want to go at the same time? Oh, okay, then we have two right. closets. No, no, we're going to have three closets, one for each base, no homers. Yes? And what is the hookup zone policy on masturbation? Pro. Yes. What? Uh, Problem solved. I, for one, enjoy watching that. No, because stop. Wait, Just can don't. I finish? No, no. Can I finish? Is that okay? I was saying I enjoy watching them because it makes me horny. Oh, Kevin. Kevin. So. What? Phyllis is masturbating in the oh. office right now as we speak. Can we skip the color commentary and just have Andy go out there and fire her? Well, he, can't, he can't do that. It turns out just she's allowed to have feelings of sexual arousal. It doesn't become a violation until she physically acts on it. Why is Phyllis so aroused? She's listening to Fifty Shades of Grey. Well, there you go. That's muy caliente. Okay, you are useless. I'll take care of this. <laughs> what the hell? It's okay, guys. She's no longer horny. Excuse me, dirty birdie. What? You can have this back at the end of the day.